Welcome back everyone, Patrick here. Moving on to the next question, dealing with quadrilaterals. So we are given a quadrilateral that has the vertices A, negative three and five, B, three and seven, C, six and negative two, and then D, zero, negative four. And we have to first verify that this quadrilateral is a rectangle. Then in part B, we have to verify that the diagonals are equal in length and bisect each other. And then in part C, we have to verify that the diagonals are not perpendicular, right? So these are some properties of a rectangle. So before we get into this specific rectangle, let me just give you a quick overview. So if we draw any rectangle, just in general, so we know that these sides here, or these angles rather, they are all 90 degrees. And so to confirm first that we're dealing with a rectangle, what we have to show is that this side and this side are gonna be parallel, and then this side and this side are gonna be parallel. So we're gonna have two pairs of parallel sides, just like a parallelogram, but then we further have to show that the sides, these sides, the slopes of the sides are negative reciprocals of one another, okay? Meaning that there's gonna be an angle of 90 degrees. Between them. So it's not enough to show that the sides are just parallel. We also have to show that the sides are perpendicular to each other, that the slopes are negative reciprocals of one another. So that's what we're going to do in part A. Now in part B, what we're going to do is if we draw the diagonals here and here, we first have to confirm that the diagonals are equal in length. So the distance from here to here and then the distance from here to here is the same. And then we also have to confirm that where the diagonals intersect, at that point it's actually cutting both diagonals in half. So this length and this length are the same. So this and this are the same. And then this and that are the same. Right, that's what we're gonna be doing in part B. And then in part C, what we're going to do is we're going to verify that the diagonals are not perpendicular to each other. So that these angles between the diagonals are not 90 degrees. Okay, and we can do that by finding the slopes and then just showing that they're not negative reciprocals of one another. So this is different from a square Right? If you remember with a square, when we drew the diagonals, they were also, they share the property of where they're the same length and they bisect each other. So this, 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 and this are the same length. But with a square in particular, the diagonals are also perpendicular to each other. So there's a 90 degree angle between them. Okay, and this is just a specific case of a rectangle where all the sides are equal. But most rectangles you're gonna be dealing with, this side and this side are gonna have the same length, but then this one and this one are gonna be a different length. And when that happens, when that particular case happens, then that diagonals are equal in length, they bisect each other, but they're not gonna be perpendicular. So that's what we're gonna be showing in this video. All right, so let's draw just the rough rectangle on the side here, just so we have something to refer to. So we'll have A, negative three and five. We'll have B, three and seven. C, six and negative two. And then D, zero, negative four. Now, if you draw this on a Cartesian plane, it's not necessarily gonna take this shape here, but I'm just drawing a rough diagram that we can have as reference when we work through the problem. So in part A, what we gotta do is verify that it's a rectangle. And as I mentioned, what we gotta do is basically find the slopes of all four sides. So let's first find the slope of AB. And if you remember the slope formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we'll label this as x1, y1. We'll label this as x2, y2. So we'll have y2, which is seven, minus y1, which is five, over x2, which is three, minus negative three, 
which is x1 there. So it will be 2 over 3 plus 3, right? These two negatives turn into a positive, so we'd have 2 over 6, which would simplify to 1 over 3. Okay, so the slope of AB is equal to 1 over 3. So let's keep track of those over there. Now let's find the slope of BC. So we already have x2, y2 over here. I'll label this as x1, y1. So we would end up with y2, which is 7, minus y1, which is negative 2, over x2, which is 3, minus x1, which is 6. So this would be 7 plus 2, right? The two negatives turn into a positive. That would be 9. 3 minus 6 is negative 3. 9 divided by negative 3 is just negative 3. Okay, so the slope of BC... is negative 3. And notice that these are negative reciprocals of one another, as expected. So, so far, everything checks out. Everything is all good. So now let's find the slope of CD. So CD, uh, we got x1, y1. Let's label this as x2, y2. So we'll have y2, which is negative 4, minus y1, which is negative 2, over x2, which is 0, minus x1, which is 6. This would be like negative 4 plus 2. 0 minus 6 is negative 6. Negative 4 plus 2 would give us negative 2 over negative 6. That simplifies to positive 1 over 3. Right, so the slope of CD is positive 1 over 3. As expected, right, CD should be parallel to AB, so they should have the same slope. And then finally, let's um, find the slope of AD. So those are already labeled, x1, y1, x2, y2. So we'll have y2, which is negative 4, minus y1, which is 5. And then x2, which is 0, minus x1, which is negative 3. So this would be like negative 9 over 0 plus 3, which would give us negative 9 over 3, which would give us negative 3. Okay, so the slope of AD is negative 3. As expected, it's parallel to BC, right? So they have the same slopes. Not only do they have the same slopes, so we confirmed that the sides are parallel. So that's what you do for like a parallelogram. But then we have to go into a specific case and then show that it's a rectangle. And with a rectangle, basically these slopes have to be negative reciprocals of one another, which they are. If we take the one over three and flip it, change the sign, it becomes a negative three. Or if we take the negative three, put it over one, flip it, change the sign to a positive, we end up with one over three. Okay, so with this work here, it's enough to verify that we're dealing with a rectangle. Now, if they ask you to verify that you're dealing with a square, not only would you have to do this, but you'd also have to find the lengths of all four sides and show that the lengths, all four lengths, are equal. Okay, but we're just dealing with a general rectangle, so this here is enough. Your teacher may require you to find the lengths as well. But most teachers, most textbooks, when you're just verifying a rectangle, this here, the slopes are enough. Now in part B, what we got to do is we have to first verify that the diagonals are equal in length, and then we have to verify that they bisect each other. So let's start off with first showing that they are equal lengths, right? It's going to be a separate calculation than showing that they bisect each other. There's not going to be too big of a relationship with that. So we're first going to have to find the length of each of these diagonals. And we'll start with the length. Let's start with AC. So like that. So we'll find the length of AC. Now it's the square root of uh, x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So Let's actually just erase all these. Um, this is x1, y1, so let's label c as x2, y2 like that. So we'd end up with x2, which is 6, minus x1, which is negative 3, right? Be careful with the brackets here. 
we're going to square that plus the y2, which is negative 2 minus 5. And then we're going to square that. So this would end up being 6 minus negative 3 is like 6 plus 3 squared plus negative 7 squared. So we'd end up with what? 9 squared plus 49, which would be like 81 plus 49 like that, which would give us root 130. And I'm going to leave it like that. If you want, you could get the decimal as well. It would be 11 point something. I'll just leave it as an exact value. So the length of the diagonal AC is, um, is root 130. So now let's find the diagonal BD, the length of it. So we'll label this as x1, y1. We could label D as x2, y2. Um, I just actually erased the formula. It's all good. So we got BD. So using that formula, x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared, like that. Okay, so what are we going to get here? We're going to have negative 3 squared plus negative 11 squared, which is 9 plus 121, which would give us root 130, as expected. That's what we were verifying. So we got the length of the diagonal BD equaling root 130. All right, now what we have to do, we're still not done part B because what we have to do now is confirm that the diagonals bisect each other. How can we do that? Well, what we can do is if they bisect each other, meaning that this and this, right, these are halves. It's sp this point splits this diagonal in half, and it splits this diagonal in half. And because both diagonals have equal lengths, the halves are all the same length. So what we can do is we can actually find the midpoint of both of these diagonals. And if the midpoint is the same, then we know that the midpoint is that point of intersection. Right, if it's the same for both diagonals and the midpoint splits both in half. So to confirm that diagonals bisect each other, all you have to do is find the midpoints of the diagonals and confirm that the midpoints are the same. So what we're doing here, let me write it out, is we're confirming that the midpoint of AC is equal to the midpoint of BD. And if we can confirm that, then we confirm that the diagonals bisect each other. So if you remember the midpoint formula, so let's start with AC. It's basically x1 plus x2 divided by 2, y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So we would have x1, negative 3 plus 6 divided by 2, and then y1, which is 5 plus negative 2. And that's going to be divided by 2. So we'd end up with negative 3 plus 6, which is positive 3. That's going to be over 2. 5 plus negative 2 is like 5 minus 2, which would give us 3 over 2. Okay, so the x and y are actually the same in this case. So the midpoint of AC is 3 over 2 and 3 over 2, 1.5 and 1.5. Let's see if we get the same thing when we're finding the midpoint of BD, of that other diagonal. So we'll have x1, which is 3, plus x2, which is 0, over 2, y1, which is 7, plus y2, which is negative 4. That's going to be over 2. Notice what do we get? 3 plus 0 is 3, over 2 is just 3 over 2. 7 plus negative 4 is like 7 minus 4, which gives us 3 over 2 as well. And so, that's it. They both share, both diagonals share the same midpoint, so we just proved or verified that the diagonals bisect each other. Right, so we're done with part B. And then finally in part C, 
what we got to do is show that they are not perpendicular. So how can we do that? Well, pretty much the opposite of what we did here. We could find the slopes of both diagonals, and if they're not negative reciprocals of one another, then they're not perpendicular. So what we can do is we could find the slope, Let's start with AC, um, so we'll have y2, which is negative 2, minus y1, which is 5, over x2, which is 6, minus x1, which is negative 3, which would give us negative 7, over 6 plus 3, 9. Okay, so the slope of AC is negative 7 over 9. And then, just give me a sec here, actually, let me confirm this. Yeah, it looks all good. So then the slope of uh, BD, right, of the other diagonal, is going to be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, which would be negative 4 minus 7 over x2, which is 0, minus x1, which is 3. So we'd end up with negative 11 over negative 3, which would give us positive. 11 over 3. And notice that both of these slopes, they are not negative reciprocals of one another, right? If we flip this, it would be 3 over 11. Change the sign, it would be negative 3 over 11. And that doesn't equal that. Or if we flip this, 9 over 7, change the negative to a positive. So positive 9 over 7 is not the same as 11 over 3. Okay, so because both of these slopes of both diagonals are not negative reciprocals of one another, we showed that the diagonals are not perpendicular.